Okay, we're gonna try something new. Um, hi, Tim here, and I'm gonna bring you guys a quick video today uh, comparing a couple of load boxes um, that I'm using in my home COVID setup. Um, and uh, the difference is uh, I haven't made so many videos lately because it's a bit difficult to do when you're at home and you have kids. Say hi, kids. Hi. And a dog. And my in-laws live down that set of stairs. And it's like just a different thing than usual. Um, but I figured Jimmy Fallon can make The Tonight Show from his home with some low tech. And so I can do it too. Um, not that my COVID rig is very low tech. Here it is sitting over here in the corner. And I have choice for the Kemper, of course. But also the stuff that's in the rack and that matchless amp. Um, and that's kind of what's um, going on in today's video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys some of my, uh, a quick tonal comparison between this Sur Reactive Load IR and the Two Notes Captor. And the, uh, hey Mackenzie, you're interrupting my video. Um, <laughs> the, only, the, the only difference between the two, I mean other than the apparent things, is that the Captor is 16 ohms and the, and the um, Sur IR is 8 ohms. And so if you think that makes a difference to tone, I guess you gotta factor that in. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create two clips or I've already recorded them actually. Um, same riff, clean, dirty, the dirty parts feature uh, the brown amplification uh, green side of the protein pedal. Uh, so the Nobles ODR side um, in both cases. And uh, then I have a little wrap up for you guys. This intro didn't work the first time. Hey, we're learning how to do life. Uh, with different technologies. So I hope you don't mind. Uh, I know the audio uh, is going to be a little bit more echoey than usual, uh, but I hope you enjoy the clips and uh, come back at the end and see what I have to say about them, uh, my thoughts, and I'm really curious to know what you guys think. So uh, feel free to leave a comment as yeah, you listen. Say bye, guys. Bye. you heard to me I think I hear that the reactive load is a little bit uh, clearer and has a little bit more depth um, I should mention that uh, I did not use the high-end roll-off 
uh, switch on the reactive load. Um, I just kept it straight up. And uh, so to me, there was a little bit nicer sound as I listened back three or four or five times to the two clips back and forth. Um, I, I, I prefer the sound of the Sir Reactive Load IR. Now, is it a huge difference? <sighs> no, this is probably in the realm of cork sniffing. Um, live, would I really be able to tell the difference? I don't know. Um, I'm really curious to see what the Captor X brings to the table when it comes out um, because uh, it's got some of the aux features with that app that you can dial things in. And could I make the two sound pretty much the same in real short order with my phone? Um, and there's some things that the Captor X does that the, uh, sorry, the Sir won't do natively like stereo outs, different cabinets on the different outputs. Um, attenuation, although you can get a 3 dB uh, drop with the Sir by doing a, a, a cabinet trick. Anyway, you could ask me about that in the comments, I tell you about it. Um, there's a way to get some volume roll off, but not as much and not as dramatic as the Captor is going to do. So uh, the Captor X is going to offer a lot of features and maybe I'll do a little um, video of the two of those. I haven't gotten rid of the Captor yet um, and maybe I'll leave it plugged in for a little bit because it was the last one I used and just see how I, I feel about it. But um, overall, uh, there's uh, two quick clips that should give you a, a chance to A-B them. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you haven't had a chance yet, please subscribe uh, and uh, hang around. There'll be more content. And as I get going here in my, in my new reality, I'm hoping to do some demos and, uh, and covers um, and uh, offer some tones up. Um, by the way, you could check out my website as well if you want to help support the channel. Um, my website is worshipplayers.net uh, and I, I do have some uh, Kemper profiles there. Uh, there will be performances and profiles uh, available along the way. Cheers, everybody. Thanks. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Peace.